You know, let me give you a little tip here. You don't always have to buy a new laptop every year to get the latest and greatest speeds. You could actually keep your own laptop and add an eGPU to make it faster. And what's an eGPU, you may ask yourself? It's an external graphics card that you could basically plug into your computer and it gives you better speeds than what you currently have. Now, what I got here today is the Razer Core X Chroma Edition. This enclosure comes with the 700 watt power supply. So this could power your, you know, best in class graphics cards out there like the Nvidia or the AMD. And the one that I got today is the AMD 5700 XT. You know, this is gonna be pretty decent if you want to do some gaming with some pretty good high refresh rates. And what I'm basically using this for is for my video editing software, which is Final Cut Pro. And I also got to run this beast of a monitor. If you haven't already checked out my dream desk setup, I go more in depth about this monitor and the whole setup here on the desk. So make sure to go click here in the corner. That way you can check out the video. Now, let me get started on the installation and the process on how to connect an eGPU onto your MacBook Pro in this case. Before I get started, make sure to leave a like and subscribe to this channel so I could bring you more tech content. As you can see here, I already have the 5700 XT right here. And the ports that it comes with is one HDMI and three display ports. So what I'm trying to do is basically run my monitor with this graphics card instead of the one that's on my MacBook Pro. Now let's get this plugged in. First of all, you gotta make sure these connections are properly aligned with the unit. That way you do not break it or do any damages. All right, once you feel that it's tight and secure, you wanna make sure you put the little screw back on. And what I like about this razor enclosure is that you don't really need any tools for this because you could tighten up the screws with your fingers. So once that is connected, you gotta make sure the power lines are connected properly to the graphics card. And right here, there's only <laughs> six Right here I have extra ports. Don't worry, just make sure to connect the ones that you have. Over here, and now, you are just going to slide this right into place. The little handle here, and just push it back in. As you can see on the back of this enclosure right here, you're going to find four USB ports, an Ethernet port, and of course that Thunderbolt 3 drive that's gonna be connecting your MacBook into this. Now you're gonna have the ports available here if you wanna connect them to an external monitor, which I will do shortly. Now let's get this powered up. I'm plugging this in, into the MacBook. Let's power it up. You already see kind of a little bit of spinning going on. And if you wait a couple seconds, if you click right here on the little tab where it has like a graphics card unit, you're going to find that it says disconnect AMD Radeon RX 5700 XT, which means this is already plugged in. And the thing about an eGPU is that you don't notice the power until you're actually running some very heavy software. For example, like in my case, like I mentioned before, Final Cut Pro, I won't really see any differences until I see videos rendering faster, but I can still check the speeds using Geekbench and that is what I'm gonna do right now. You can already see that I have three GPUs plugged in, one being the Intel Graphics 630, the Radeon 555X on the MacBook, and of course, the 5700 externally. Okay, so first we're gonna run a quick Geekbench using my 555X inside my MacBook. So I just ran the test and holy moly, this thing is fast <laughs> or this thing is slow. Either way, I get a big difference in graphics. I mean, this thing is a beast. Checking out the Geekbench score for the 555X in my MacBook Pro. I'm in the 1300s range within the OpenCL score and yeah, I mean, I could get a way faster speed with that. We could see all the graphs here in the bottom for each individual score. 
Now, if we go on over to the 5700 XT, that's gonna be a whole another story. Let's check the score so you can see it. Look at this, 4500s. That's a little bit over three times in performance by just plugging an external graphics card onto my MacBook Pro. In each individual segment, this graphics card is a monster and the performance can vary depending on which program or software you're using. But basing off of the scores, this thing is amazing. Now I'm going to disconnect my monitor from my MacBook Pro directly and plug in a display port through the graphics card. That way you could be using the power from this properly. Okay, so now that we have the monitor plugged in directly to the eGPU, we can now close the lid of the MacBook and everything will be powered directly through this. Even the laptop, this is gonna be charged using 100 watts of power. So you don't have to worry about charging it or using another cable to plug it into the wall. This could do it all. Now, as you can see right here on the screen, we see 5700 XT graphics. So everything right now is being run by this. Make sure you're tuned into this channel as I will give you more update videos and actually tips and hacks in order to make your laptop faster and unlock even more features that you didn't even know about. This is Brian signing off and until next time, peace out.